Hi, and welcome to another edition of Legit Reviews on Video. I'm Bill Henschel, and today we're going to be reviewing the Corsair 550D Mid Tower Quiet Case. This case is loaded with features and includes a two year warranty. We found it for $149.99, currently shipping from Newegg.com. Looking at the outside of the box, we can see that there's standard black print that shows a picture of the case, some marketing text, the model number. On the side, there is more text and inside view of the case. On the back, we have an exploded view of the case, and there's marketing text in multiple languages. The other side of the box is just a repeat again, just more marketing text and an interior shot. Looking at the packing material Corsair used for the 550D, you can see it's sturdy foam on the top and bottom. And around on the back, you can see they've used some heavy cardboard to protect the front and side of this case. Let's have a look at the outside of the 550D. On the left side, it's a steel panel. Has a little plastic door here. You press this button, it pops out. It's covered in sound deadening material, and you can see that there is optional mounting for dual 120 or 140 millimeter fans with a magnetic fan filter. There's some sound deadening uh, material here. Um, this is, uh, you leave the door off if you want to use these optional fans, or you simply put it in these holes and snap it back in if you'd rather run the case in silent mode. Uh, if I can get this to line up here. There we go. Okay, on the front, it's a full aluminum panel. They have your normal I.O. up here. You see there's the headphone, mic, reset, power, and dual USB 3.0 jacks. The front pops off. It either can swing left or right or simply pull the whole thing off. Again, it's covered in the more sound deadening material. There's four five and a quarter bays here. And then another little panel you pop out, again covered in sound deadening, that has two installed 120 millimeter fans with a uh, fan filter, and it's got these little grooves on the side to allow the air in uh, around this front panel. But this allows it to take air in and still run very silently. Let me get this panel back in. And then the front, uh, you can simply pop it back on. There's these little pins. It is all aluminum. As I said, it's aluminum covered plastic. I can just line the pin up here, and it just snaps in. As I said, this can swing either left or right open. Ah, I'm having trouble getting the pin to lock in. Okay. There we go. On the right side, it's just a solid steel panel. Nothing exciting there. If we move around to the back, you'll see that we have these two buttons that you press. You op press either of these buttons, and the, the panels will fall out the side panels, their I.O. opening, your 120-140 millimeter fan for water cooling ports, your seven PCI ports, and then the area for your PSU. If we swing around to the top of the case, you'll see there's again a plastic panel that pops up, also covered in sound deadening, with optional mounting for dual 120 or 140 millimeter fans and it has again this magnetic intake fan cover just really nice options you can mount a, a 240 rad up here if you want or a 120 rad if you don't want to use the top fan mounts you simply put this panel back on and um, run silent on the bottom of the case, you'll see that we have another filter. We have, here's the screws for the uh, hard drive cage, and there's nice little rubber feet here, nice soft rubber feet. This, this filter slides out. You can see there's another mount for a 120 or 140 millimeter fan. That makes eight total for the case, and the, uh, the PSU intake is also filtered. With the panels off, we can take a look at the inside. See there's a large CPU opening, the rear mounted fan. You notice all the nice rubber grommets for cable management. We have tool-free five and a quarter inch bays. We have our six hard drive trays and two removable cages. And then you can see the cables from the front I.O. hanging down into the bottom compartment. On the back, you can get another look at that large CPU opening. And we have the other side of the five and a quarter back side of those hard drive trays and you can see there's uh, some nice ca uh, area for cable management and a decent amount of space behind the motherboard tray. If 
We want to take a second to highlight a few items of the 550D. The first is a quick start guide with included screws. You can see there's nice long radiator screws, zip ties, zip tie tie downs, quite the assortment. I also wanted to highlight the nice magnetic filters on all the intakes. The hard drive cages have dual mounting positions for your SSDs and the sides are rubberized to prevent vibration getting into the case. Finally, the PSU area has a nice rubber grommet that should really help keep this case silent. Moving on to installation. Installation in the Corsair 550D was a breeze. We had no problem fitting our ATX motherboard, CD-ROM drive, SSD, and 2 terabyte hard drive in the included trays. Our 750 watt modular PSU had plenty of space at the bottom with enough room to run cables both behind the motherboard as well as straight up to our GPU. The Cooler Master Hyper 212 Plus Full Tower Cooler had no problem fitting in this case with plenty of room around it to circulate air. The back of the case had plenty of room to run our cables from a modular PSU and all the I.O. cables from the motherboard. Those grommets really come in handy. The only issue we had was our bottom mounted PSU did not have quite enough length on the ATX power cable so we had to use an extender, but that's a pretty minor issue. Overall, it was very easy to run cables in this case. The last detail we wanted to look at is space behind the motherboard tray, measuring 8 millimeters right behind the CPU and 16 millimeters at the bottom of the case, which should be plenty to run cables. We really like the Corsair Obsidian 550D case, so much so that we're awarding it the Legit Reviews Editor's Choice Award. Thank you for watching another Legit Reviews on video.